What's the matter, Yuji? You look really haggard. I haven't slept for three days now. Three days? Why not? Have you started on a new novel or something? It's not like that. Mari, I've got a problem, and it's... Well, I don't think I could possibly turn to anyone else. Yuji, what's happening to you? I knew you'd believe me. The thing is, there's this other me. There's someone alive inside my dreams who's trying to break out into the real world. The moment I fall asleep, he wakes, and then he tries to drag me into his world so he can take my place here. It's been three days since he first tried it. You see why I can't let myself fall asleep? If I do that, he'll wake up. Wait, hold on a second. Is this another one of your stories? No, I'm telling you, this is happening. You must know how strange this all sounds. And it's certainly your genre. Mari, look at me. I'm not lying, and this isn't fiction. Yuji, have you thought of seeing a doctor? A doctor? Yeah, a doctor. Okay, sure, a doctor might be able to help. Thanks a lot, Mari. Yuji! Yuji! Come on, Yuji, wait! Don't go! I was just joking! Yuji, come on! I know, Mari. I just... I can't imagine what a doctor could do for me. Best case scenario, they toss me in the loony bin. That's what worries you, isn't it? For that matter, I don't see anything a psychiatrist could do either. Anyway, by the time I got to someone who'd listen, he'd already be in control. Yuji, I honestly don't understand what you're saying. What is it you want me to do? Mari, I... I want you to watch over me. Make sure I don't fall asleep. Yuji... <laughs> I told my parents I'd be going on a trip with you. If they ask you, will you play along? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly. I just know I've got to take care of him. Thanks, Kiko. It's just another excuse. His act is getting better, but how does he expect anyone to believe him? I guess he won't make it as a writer. The Den of the Doomed Young Writer. I wonder if there's a full moon tonight. Yuji. Hey. Come on in. Thanks, Mari. Here, I'll, I'll make you some coffee. Oh, I'll do that. Okay, just fix some for yourself then. I've already had my fill. So, uh, how's he doing? He's asleep, but I've just about hit my limit. Mari, will you tape my wrists and ankles together? What for? It's to prevent him from coming out. Come on, hurry. Is this good? Yeah. Of course, I don't know if it'll even work. Well, I'm here now, so don't worry. Just take a nice nap. Yuji, what's happening to you? If these horror books are his bedtime reading, Little wonder he has such strange dreams. Hmm. 
off the tape. Yuji, what was that? It's the other me, like I told you. He's my flip side in the dreamland. This is crazy. It can't be happening. It just... But it is. You saw it for yourself. But I... All this time he's been dreaming inside me, but now he's discovered the outside world. Does that mean you'll go completely inside out? Yeah, like a reversible jacket. But I... This is stupid! The human body isn't just a... a coat! What about your bones? Your... In, intestines and things? Well, the only explanation I can come up with is... Maybe I was born with an empty... Body. Or maybe I went hollow when I lost my family. That would explain my lack of stomach problems anyway. Stop it! Yuji! Don't fall asleep! My dreams are weirdly real, you know? When I was a kid, I wanted to fly like a bird. So I tried everything, like taping feathers to my arms. It never did any good, of course. But then I thought of doing it in my dreams. But when I actually dreamed, I'd laugh at myself. You wanna fly, I'd ask? How stupid are you? My dreams were more real than reality. You never told me about that. In dreams, Anything should be possible. Why would he want to leave them? That makes it four days now. Thanks, Marty. I feel much better. After that, I can't say how much time passed. We were so engrossed in our battle that we lost count. Turned out the tape didn't work. And however hard he clamped his mouth shut, it would still get wrenched open. Our only option was to go without sleep. <sighs> Maybe we should take shifts. You nap and I watch. I'm sure you can get some rest before he stirs. Mari, I give up. I don't want you to suffer anymore. I'll just go into the dream world. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm perfectly fine. Mari, do you know why he's so damn stubborn? It's you he's after. He wants you. And I, I feel the same way. That's why I've resisted this far. Yuji, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Yuji. <laughs> I won't let you go. I'll keep you anchored. Yuji, fine then, I'll go with you. It's this unit. He told me he has no family and lives all by himself. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be locked. Hirano, are you in? We're with the police. We'd like to ask you some questions. Come in. 
Your friend of Mari Igarashi, is that right? In case you haven't heard, she's recently gone missing. We'd appreciate any cooperation you can give to us. Hirano, can I ask whose tote bag this is? Is it alright if I take a look inside? There's no use looking for her, for she has become my intestine. What? What? Explain yourself. You're you're not telling me that you ate her. <laughs> no. I merely gave her a one-way trip to my dream world.